He's like, no, seriously, like you can come back to my place. We can have some one-on-one -on -one training time. And at that point, I was like, tell me why she gonna grab my, she gonna grab my meat, man. She <laughs> Don't match, do what I want so I can't get the tax. So both of my pockets got rickety racks. Yeah, she let me pee from the back. Yeah, she know I'm the shit, that's facts. Niggas act dumb when you pull up where they at. Better go around when I ride the tap. If I don't got a gun, better nigga get slapped. No cap. Come here. I'm gonna need them bands when I come through. When I come through. Yeah, I'm gonna hit my dance. Now, how about you? Now, how about you? Yeah. What's going on, YouTube? Playboy Shavi in the building, man. So, look, I know it's been a minute. But we finna get straight back to it. Got a lot of personal stuff I was going through and let's just say I had to take some mental time. But right now I feel better mentally, physically, just in every way. I'm feeling good. So let's see if I can get these videos out for y'all back to back to back to back. But we'll get through what was going on in another video. Right now we got a story time. So look man, to be honest, story times, I don't know what y'all wanna see, so I'ma just I'm gonna just go through and do the stories that I find interesting. And, and like I said, man, I don't cap at any of my stories. All this stuff really happened. So pretty much anything that I went through that I think is funny, interesting, and that y'all that y'all would like, I'm gonna go ahead and do for y'all. So today we got a story time of when I pulled my first sugar mama, man. So I, I know I don't know why I haven't told the story yet, man. It's a good story. So without further ado, before we get into this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok. I just started doing TikTok, so go follow that. I'm gonna put those all down below, so make sure y'all follow that. But without further ado, let's get straight into the video, man. When I pulled my first sugar mama. Sheesh, tough. So this was senior year. Um, I started working, like jobs, I started working soft, the end of sophomore year. That's when I first got my first job. And at first, I would only, I would just work restaurants, retail, stuff like that. But senior year, I was like, nah, man, look, life's about to get real. I'm gonna start exploring my options. So I actually started working a sales job with my friend. His grand, his godmother owned like a multi-billion or a multi-million dollar company. So it was sales, it was strictly commission, but it was a, it was a different job than I ever like been at. So I was like, I'm gonna give it a shot. So pretty much we were the youngest people working there. Everyone there was like early, like late 20s or older. Uh, a lot of them were older than that. But so when we first get on there, you know, they they looking at us like we jits, man, like we little jits. But I was like, look, man, we could do this. At the end of the day, if we push and we go hard, we can make more money than anybody making our age right now, like real spill. So I was like, let's get to it. So he had already started working there, like. Damn near six months ago to a year. His, like I said, his godmother owned the company, so he was working there. Uh, I saw what he was doing. Uh, he was still getting used to it, but he liked it. So I was like, you know what? I'll give it a shot, man. So we would get out of school early. Like we we had double early release, so we get out early, but our like we didn't get that extra free time. We just went straight to work. So we went, and what we would do, we go to the office every day for after school for about an hour. We would have like training sessions, and then we would hit what we call the field where we go knock doors, get in people's houses, try to sell our product. Anyways, every time we would sell a product, the next day when we went to that meeting, we would have to get in front of every coworker and explain what we did, how we sold it. And so this is how, this is how it begins with the sugar mama, man. So we had got a new employee, her name was, we're not gonna, we're not gonna say any names, so we're gonna call her, uh, we're gonna call her Yaya. Why say Ayana, get up. You talking about this girl right here? My wife? You talking about my wife? <laughs> so, we had got a new employee, Yaya. And at that time, boy, I was doing good. I was selling like every other day type of shit. So, when she first got to the office, bro, she seen me going to the podium telling uh, every day, saying like how I was selling this, how I was doing that. So after like a week or so, yeah, yeah, I, we're, we're going, we're about to leave the office and she just comes up to me and she was just like, you're really good at this, you're really good at this. I was like, I mean, yeah, I do what I, I, do what I can. And <laughs> she was like, well, you should train me. And I'm thinking at first, like she just really wanted me to train her. Stop the cap. <laughs> No bullshit, bro. So I'm like, I mean, I'm really not that good. I'm pretty new. I was like, but it's whatever. She's like, no, seriously, like you can come back to my place. We can have some one-on-one -on -one training time. And I, at that point, I was like, she, 
She want me. She want me. She want me. Is she really? Yeah, she really doing what I think she's doing. So I'm like, okay, okay, okay. So I was like, I mean, <laughs> just let me know what's up. And then so she gave me her number. And then after that, like, uh, I think, yeah, after that we really didn't talk that much, but it was one day when we came to the office for a meeting, like she had got some, she had, cause you could bring your own food if you wanted to. So she brought some red lobster and I come in that office, it smelled good. And I'm like, damn. And she just come up to me and she had bought me a plate. Like she got me a, a meal for red lobster. And she was like, this is for you. And I was like, oh yeah, we in her, we in her. And so she was like, um, you, basically she was just saying like, if you want more of this, then she just with me. So I was like, all right, shit, bet. So she said one, one day she was like, after work, uh, come over and I was like, okay, bet. She's like, I'm gonna spoil you. So I was like, jeez. So she sent the address. I go out, I go home after work, get ready. I head over there. I get there and she's already outside waiting. She's like, let's go. So she takes me to some, and she's like, hop in. So she took me to some Japanese restaurant. I forgot what it is, but it's like one of those ones where you, like, they got a grill in front of you. You order your food, but you cook it, you cook it yourself. So I was like, she's, and she was like, order whatever you want. She was like, matter of fact, and she ordered, bro, like, like nine different things off the menu. She's like, I just want you to try whatever. And she was like, I'm gonna cook it for you though. So food got that. I was gonna cook my own. As soon as I grab it, she's like, no, let me do it. So she cooking my food, bro. I'm just eating, bro. It, it was good. She spent at least like 150 off rip just on me. It's so all nothing. She got her food too. So I was like, she. And then we went back, bro. She just started offering me like stuff for no reason, bro. Like whenever we would go, um, to the field to knock doors like on the way there in the trucks we would ride together and i would just have my beats on and uh like my headphones to listen to music and she was like oh i noticed you haven't listened to music in a while on the truck and i was like yeah i actually uh i lost my headphones or broke them or something and she was like you want me to buy you some more beats she's like whatever pair you want and i was like dang you ain't gotta do all that but she said all right then she talking about uh because she was from florida but she was uh she went back and forth from florida to texas she was like Whenever I'm gone, cause she had a uh, Dodge Charger, like a, it was a green one, like, like a heavy one. I don't know what it was. I don't know. It wasn't a scat pack, nothing, but I don't know what it was. But it looked nice. She was like, when I have to leave my car here whenever I go to Florida, so you can drive it whenever you want. It can basically be yours. And I was like, God, damn. I was like, I might have to keep her around. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie. But anyway, so after we went to dinner that one time, she was like. Um, or we went back to her place, that's where my car was. And keep in mind, like, we had work during the week, we worked at, uh, in the afternoon, but on the weekends, bro, we worked at nine, we had to be there at 9 a.m. So, we got back from the dinner, and she was like, let's go to the club, then you can spend the night at my place. And at this point, it's already like 11.30, bro, and I'm like, a, I'll, I'm 45 minutes to an hour away from home, and I was like, you know what, bro, I gotta go home, I gotta go to work. But, tell me why she gonna grab my she gonna grab my meat, man. She talking about some. Oh yeah, we gonna have fun. I was like, look, man, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, we could do what we do right now at the apartment, but I can't go out. Like, I gotta go to work. So I was like, we can get in. We could do whatever we want, but I got to bounce. So she was like, come on, me and my friends, we're going. Still, we're going. She, I was like, look, man, I'm gonna catch you on the next one. So they left. I and bro, I just got in the car thinking like, bro, and keep in mind, bro, like. This woman, she like, at the time, bro, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm 17 years old, bro. Like, I was 17 about to turn 18, and <laughs> she probably, I think she was like 28, 29, bro. Like, bro, I was like, man, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm young, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Like, it was just feeling so, like, and bro, the whole time, bro, like, when we went out to eat, she tried to tell me, like, stories about herself. She was a stripper, bro. Like, that's why she had the money, but I don't know, bro. That shit, it was just weird to me, like, at the time, I was 17, I ain't never been through something like that before. So I was just like, jeez. So I'm just in the car like, bro, this baby really just got grab my meat on soft. On soft, I was like, you know what? She, she was fucking with the kid. After that, bro, she ended up like within the next couple of weeks going back to Florida and like, I don't know. I, after that, I never seen her again. Like after those couple weeks, bro, she like, she once she left, I, I never, I never, I had actually changed my number for some reason, and I don't even know what her number is now, but shit, if you've seen this, yeah, yeah, shit, get back at me, I'm not gonna lie to you, I need that treatment, but anyways, 
that's the story time of how I got my first sugar mama, man. It didn't last long, but it was good while it lasted, I'll tell you that. And like I said, man, whatever, if you like this video, make, if you found this video interesting, go ahead and like the video. Make sure you comment, subscribe, all that. Any other videos y'all would like to see, comment that down below. Um, yeah, man. Anyways, this is the story time of when I got my first sugar mama. 17 years old, man. 10 years older, 11 years older than me, but hey, we did what we had to do. We did what we had to do, man. But look, it's Playboy Shabby. You see the logo? We back at it, man. So look, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that. I'm gonna put my, all my stuff down below. Make sure you follow all of them. And tune in for the next video.